Like other rural districts in our state, the Marinette School District is dealing with ongoing budget challenges. Limited state revenue and declining student enrollment are two of our major challenges. Since 2003, enrollment has decreased by nearly 15%. Projections indicate this trend will slowly continue. As a result, over the last 16 years, the district has received approximately $3.5 million less in state funding. The future forecast indicates the district cannot continue to staff, heat, and maintain all six schools. For over a year, the Administration and Board of Education studied several factors to decide how to be educationally excellent and operationally efficient. They conducted a facility study that indicated that the district has too much space for current and future enrollment. The study also validated that several facilities needed major repair, such as new roofs and stormwater management, to name a few. The board invited community members, staff, and parents to participate in various study groups, open meetings, and conducted a community survey. The board reviewed financial forecasts and an enrollment study. In consideration of all the data and the community's input, the recommendation is to reduce the number of schools from six to four buildings, with additions to Park and Merriman Elementary Schools. One of the most important pieces of community feedback was to be sure that the district focuses first on educational excellence for all students. We agree. Operating less schools means there is more annual revenue for educational programming. Reducing the number of schools and making improvements through a capital referendum provides a long-term solution. The referendum question asks voters to approve capital funds to build additions at Park and Merriman Elementary Schools, equip the new additions with modern learning environments, add sufficient parking, and make necessary site improvements. The referendum question also provides for building maintenance at the middle and high schools. In this proposal, all students in the same grade level will attend the same school, using a centers concept. Merriman will be for early childhood through grade one, Park will educate students in grades two through four, the middle school and high school will continue as is. There are many educational benefits to centers, including provide all students with optimal class size. We can balance class sizes for all. Provide all students of each grade level with the same common academic experience help students develop social-emotional skills with near-aged peers, connect students to a larger pool of peers to find common interests. Support services needed for grade level can be located at one school with no travel between buildings. Less travel results in more student contact and less expense. Provide common age appropriate before and after school care and other community services. All grade level staff in one building provides more choices in classroom assignments and more collaboration between staff to encourage meeting each child's personalized needs at every grade level. Finally, safety and optimal class sizes will be a priority for all students. If the district moves to four buildings, the current shuttle service will be altered to accommodate the new building configuration. There are many more facts and figures to share, and there is information on the website for everyone to view including a tax calculator to help property owners determine the tax impact on your property. We hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about the proposal. Please cast an informed vote on November 3rd.